asking you to please film off the property. I'm just taking pictures and filming. Okay, could you do it off the property, please? Um, is this a public roadway? No, this is not a public roadway, where, sir. I need you to film yeah, off where, the property. Where? Walking around here filming for safety reasons. You can access a public road. This right. is a public road. This is a public roadway, yeah. I'm just taking pictures. No, sir, you cannot do this. I'm the warden of this. Okay, put that down. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Okay, good morning. Today is uh, December 29th. I'm here at the Carson City Courthouse. My name is Drew, for those of you that don't uh, and haven't followed me before uh, or watched my videos. Uh, appreciate the likes, appreciate the follows, subscribe, ding the bell, all that good stuff. Um, anyways, what I'm doing here is following up on my arrest. I was arrested uh, about 486 days ago at the Carson City Prison where I was going out there to film. And uh, it took 477 days to get the case dismissed. So the case has been totally dismissed and so now I can move forward with uh, doing the follow-up and holding them accountable for the false arrest and hopefully making some change in the system. So anyways, that's what I'm doing here at the Carson City Courthouse is I'm here to get uh, the court records uh, copy of the dismissal that I haven't gotten back yet and uh, to go file a complaint with the uh, Carson City Prosecutor's Office because they maliciously prosecuted me so I want to make sure everybody's aware that I'm complaining and uh, hopefully they do some stuff on the legal end just like they were trying to do to me they hold the government employees accountable uh, for breaking the law and uh, arresting me falsely uh, under false pretenses the arrest charges were rather interesting. They they arrested me, number one, because I was wearing a blue shirt. So I was part of the original arrest packet. I was wearing a blue shirt outside of the prison grounds. Um, and evidently, you're not aware, allowed to wear blue shirts. Although, if you go look at that video, there I was hotboxed and arrested at the Carson City Prison. It's pretty obvious. But yeah, wearing a blue shirt gets you arrested. Uh, just being there with a camera gets you arrested. So. That's, that's what I'm here to follow up on today and get documents and show you guys how that process goes. So anyways, I'm going to flip the camera around let you guys see uh, what I'm seeing as opposed to looking at my, my, my mug here. And uh, the other interesting thing is Bay Area Transparency. Uh, he was here through here for a little while ago and he had a bad experience going into this courthouse with the security guys. I've never had an issue going through here. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna have an issue this time. And I hope not. So every single time they've been through here, like I said, they've been cool, but uh, Bay Area Transparency, shout out to him. Uh, they weren't being very kind to him. How you doing? You good? All right. Uh, as long as you wake up. What, yes, yeah, I, I like waking up, or sometimes I, rather not wait for the weekend. Am I going to buzz with this? No, no, no. Leave, leave that on. Uh, give me your keys, your wallet, the cell phone. And then I'll just uh, check everything else on the other side. You, got a belt, you have a belt on at all? Yeah, we'll just Oh, no, no. The... Leave the belt on. Lift the belt so I can... There you go. Turn around for me. We'll just keep Thank all you, the sir. SIM cards down here. So, so <laughs> I got a question for you guys. Yeah. Camera didn't buzz anyway, so another guy with a camera came through here a while ago, mm -hmm. and there wasn't a good reaction. You guys know about that video? Yes. What, 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 what happened? Because my, I've gone through here a few times with a camera, mm -hmm. and never had a problem. What was the difference between me with a camera and that guy with a camera? I, I, this is First Amendment, yeah. I, I don't know what, what, uh, what led up to it. I've actually seen it. So uh, this is a public building. Taxpayers' dollars paid for it, right? And you can go anywhere you want, right? And everything's, if you think about it, everything's videoed anyways. Exactly. You can't drive through a neighborhood without a ring camera catching your car 17 times. Exactly. So that's just, yeah. I mean, it's, like I said, I've I've never had a problem through here, and I run a little tiny channel, and this guy's got a huge channel. You just probably heard about it. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we heard yeah. we heard about it. I'm, I'm sure his followers do what they did and made phone calls and sent emails. And yeah, I don't. I didn't hear anything about that, but I do know that uh, that something happened. And I don't. Everyone's like, "Have you seen the video?" I go, "No." I, go, I try not to get in the internet yeah. stuff. I like reading books. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but YouTube's an interesting venue. The information that comes out there compared to the mainstream media. It is. It's. Uh, I much rather this, have this. Won't lie. I much rather have this than mainstream. Media. Yeah. This. This don't lie. Yes. 
you see my reaction, your reaction, the interaction. No. The people can figure it out for themselves. Anyways, I appreciate it, guys. Right. And thanks, thanks for always being good to me. Maybe there would be like the branch that had happened out here. Let's go walk around over here while we're waiting. So this is where I went when I got to, out of jail. You go down here and they make you stand in this line. Then they get all mad at you if you bring a camera back there and record their, their government asses. But anyways, I did record their government asses. Good. Well, that's what it does. Well, I got arrested 486 days ago for recording. My case got dismissed nine days ago. So now I'm getting all that document. It's your right to record. Yeah. It's the first amendment. Yep, exactly. Have a good one, man. You too. So I'm just revisiting the scene of their crime. I'm glad <laughs> Let's go down here instead of doing that. Instead of waiting in line, let's go see if we can talk to somebody down at the prosecutor's office and fi file an additional complaint with them and follow up with the complaint that I gave them right after this whole thing happened. <clears throat> so anyways, we're going to go into the uh, district attorney's office. And if you go back and watch my videos from after I got arrested, I went in here and their, inter their uh, reaction was not Hello. good. Hi. What can we help you with? I need to file a complaint. You'll do that at the sheriff's office and you're um, not going no. to video us, okay? Uh, whoops. Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name? What's your name? You can leave the office. What's your name? You're, 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 are you kicking me out of your office for videoing? Thank you. Okay. Hello, sir. Can you help me? Oh, wow. What's your name, ma'am? Ma All right, what's your name? Obnoxious, but we've got business. What do, what do you think they're going to do and investigate this complaint against themselves? I'd like to file a complaint under NRS 171-1233. Hello, sir. What's your... How you doing? Good. What's your name? I'm Investigator Smith with the District Attorney's Office. Investigator Smith, could you identify your badge number, employee number, please? Not good. So let's see if the reaction is better this time. Hi there. Hi. Hi. I, I have a complaint that I need to uh, get to you guys and have taken. Okay. Can I see what you have there? Yeah. And what's your name? Uh, Sam Bruchetta. Sam, nice to meet you. I'm Drew. Nice to meet you, Drew. And I should probably put my, give you guys my name and contact information. And I want to follow up on a complaint that I filed about 484 days ago, roughly. Okay. It was a similar complaint to this, but now the case is dismissed, so there's no, now there's more case law behind it. Okay, great. I will let me take down your contact information. Uh, looks like we have a pen there. If you don't mind just writing it down for me. Absolutely. Uh, I will take this as well. Yep, uh, that's fine. Copy of it oh, I've, I've, I've got a lot of copies of those. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and last uh, when I came in here with a camera the first time, you guys had a really bad reaction. Oh, I, I walked in with a camera, and everybody scattered. And then a guy came out and took the bell away. And then finally, um, Jason had to come out because nobody else would talk. Oh, uh, sorry. So, so I appreciate that. the better reaction. No, no problem. Okay, there's some contact information. Perfect. Let me make sure I can read it all here. Uh, Drew River? Rebar. Rebar. Yes, close Rebar. enough. Uh, R I B A R? Yep. Let me just take that down. That's me. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. I got your information. Okay. And when should I hear an answer back about, because like I said, I, I initiated a complaint immediately after I was arrested uh -huh. because I got arrested for filming. Okay. 
Uh, I don't have an answer. And so I want to find out what happened to that initial complaint, especially now that the case has been dismissed and the way that the case was handled. Uh, hey, Jason. How are you? Good. Good. Brewery, brewery bar again. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Um, yeah, I was dropping off another complaint oh, okay. um, with regards to my arrest, uh -huh. and I don't know if you're aware the case was dismissed here the 20th, Okay. and so basically what I've seen under uh, federal rulings of the Supreme Court, there's some case law in there, okay. um, that there's a problem now, and I'm following up on that legal problem that's been created because of my arrest. What I'm especially aggrieved about <clears throat> with your office is the way that the... Uh, prosecution was handled okay and it seems malicious to me and here's how I see it as being malicious my, my rights were denied me by for 477 days I had my rights deprived based on the restrictions after my arrest the I forget the prosecutor's name that you had the senior prosecutor he's listed in the complaint but his motivation at the end to dismiss only came with a caveat that I plead no contest, suffer a fine, and ultimately have it dismissed. But I was recording a peace officer facility only dealing with peace officers. I use that word in the legal term under the definition of statute. And if you go read 171.12.33 that I believe I made you guys aware of, peace officers can't interfere with my filming at all of their actions. And that was very clear throughout my video. And yet I was prosecuted and, like I said, denied my, my rights for 477 days. And I had to deal with the stress and I'd pay my attorney. And I put it in the record on the court that when I accepted the deal, it was, it was a quid pro quo for me. Do I spend $30,000 to give my attorney to defend this case or do I pay this fine and wait another however many months it was before I could start doing what I do again. So why did I have to pay that fine? Why did I have to wait that time when the ultimate result was dismissal? Okay, it, all this is in... Yeah, there, there's, there, there's, it, it's probably not quite that detailed. It's, it's basically facts and cause of action to show under the law where you can take action. And that's really what I want. Is what I, what I want to see is I want to see public officials held to the same standard that the people are. Because to me, what I see in our system, there's, there's, there's two, two to three tiers of justice. If you're a public official, you know who everybody is. Everybody covers for you. And I think my example of my complaint right after my arrest, and, and my, my, my guessing is that not a whole lot was done with it. And now that it's been dismissed and the time has passed, and again, you go back and look at the, the Supreme Court case law. There, there is a problem with this. So, so why, why would I be held to this one standard when, when just the other day I'm driving down Interstate 80, or not 80, excuse me, uh, 395, 580, going back to Reno, and here's this car with California exempt tags going 90 miles an hour past everybody. <laughs> now, now, that's just one example, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, we've all seen that, sure. But if, if I'm doing that, and there's a trooper sitting there, or a deputy sitting there, what are they going to do to me? Well, they see it, I mean, sure. We, we, we both know the answer to this question. That's that. I, I believe we do. So, so I want to have the, my complaint carried forward in the aspect that you deal with, in the criminal aspect. And then the other issue that I'm going to bring forward, and what I'm looking at, are you aware of the Mack versus Williams case? Mm -hmm. uh, I think you got liability under that. Yeah. I, I mean, question one and question two that were certified are pretty clear. Uh, you know what those questions were. No qualified immunity, and you can sue state actors individually. Uh, you know, you compare that to a 1983 lawsuit, where, where you can go look at qualified immunity. I think that our state constitution is much more restrictive than our federal constitution, especially on these rights. And, and so that's what I've got to say. I don't know if you want to have a response or want to, want no, to I, discuss I, any look, of that. I mean, I've got to look at what you've submitted here. I'm obviously generally familiar with uh, your case and, and how you dealt with it, but I 
you know, be happy to take a look at what you've submitted. Okay. I, pr I appreciate it, sir. Okay. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Take care. You too. You, you spoke first. You're, you're the you're the lucky lucky victim. Um, I want to get copies of a court case I was involved in. Okay. Or what's the easiest way to? Okay. A dollar per what? Per, for the search? Per year. Yeah, or if you have the case number, it would just... Um... Oh, I've got Jason Woodbury, the case number on a piece of paper I had. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I couldn't... What's uh, the last name? There should only be one. Rebar, R-I-B-A-R. -R. There should only be one in there. And then uh, first name? Drew. Drew? Yeah. D-R-E-W? That's me, yes. R I B A R rebar. Okay, so it looks like I have a case number here. It's 22 CR 0123. Yep, that's the one. Uh, 1231. Yep, and it should be showing dismissed. Yep. Yep. Okay, and so, then you want records of that? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it will uh, just be a dollar. I can do that. Do you need me to fill this form out then? Probably. I'll do that anyways. So, I don't know if I was supposed to sign there or you're supposed to sign there. So it'll just be the dollar. So you'll actually pay on uh, fines and fees. Okay. And then come back and I'll do the third. Okay. Okay, cool. And uh, so just beyond paper records, is there a way to get audio or video records too? Yeah. Uh, I can give you a, um, a CD request. Okay. Yeah. Do I need that from you? And is that a separate fee too? Yeah, that'll be $10. Okay, cool. But that way I don't have to come more than once. Okay. And then, uh, do you want the case number? Yeah, because it looks like I probably need the case number and the parties and all that to put that on here. So case number you said was? Uh, 22CR01231, 1C. CR01231, 1C. Correct. And it was Department 1, wasn't it? And does it need date of proceedings? I want all. Um, if you want all, yes. Um, so there was a few hearings here. Um, can you just Google me for additional 950 for each hearing? Um, you're wanting all of them, or is there a particular hearing you want? No, I just want them all. They, they, can't they email them to you? Or do they got to put them all in the CD-ROMs? So find an address for you, okay? I just wanted to let her know so she doesn't wait for us. Thank you. Have a good lunch. Okay, so that'll be what, there were three hearings then? Okay, so just go give them money? Yep. And then come back and then we'll talk. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. You said it first, so you get stuck with a camera. I need to pay you for some stuff, I guess. I guess I got to pay you for this and then for some CDs, evidently. Okay, yeah, I guess there were two days that I needed to have, so they charge you, what, 10 and 9.50? So, whatever I'm supposed to pay. There's two oh, dates. Yeah, I got you here. Yeah. Well, nine, I just want to make sure I get all the information. Yep, I will get that. Cool. Gracias. There is, that's for the record one, for the... Uh, CDs, and then here's 50 cents back for you. Hey, 50 cents. Yeah. <laughs> so, so CDs don't cost 10 bucks a piece, so why do they charge 10 bucks a piece? Um, you need to buy. It said, uh, so they have that, it's for $10 for the copy of the CD, and then they say to add additional court processing costs. Right, right, but I mean, and I recognize court rules are different than the executive branch's rules, mm -hmm. but under the state law for, for the executive branch again, uh, they don't let you charge any more than the actual costs of the reproductions. Oh, 
I'm not sure. No, I know. I, yeah, I didn't know if you'd know or not, but just just a question because, like I said, a CD doesn't cost ten bucks. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. for that medium. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but because there's a profit. Good. Somebody's somebody's making money somewhere. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. So there we go. Hi again. Hello. Okay, they gave me this. They gave me something. Yeah, okay. So the dollar and the... Okay, perfect. They gave me something. Okay. Yeah, let me see. And then... I just called you when... I'll call you once that CD is ready for pickup. Okay. Okay, and then... And here's that. This is for the, the search. Okay. okay. And can you... Can Is there a way you can just print out the dismissal that's in there? Is. Oh, that, so, so that does show the dismissal? Yeah, it, so case is closed, and then if you see here, it's the that's Okay, the perfect. Target, okay? That's what I wanted to make sure of. Yeah. All right. And then, yeah, I'll give you a call once that CD is ready. To okay. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, now let's go make another stop, everybody. We're going to go on downstairs, and then we're going to go to the sheriff's office. Have a good one. You too. And we'll go see if they'll take this complaint over there. we got to call them up on their little phone inside the lobby. That's how it worked last time I was here. You can't talk to the person at the front desk. Perhaps we'll try and see if they changed it. Okay, it's like I said last time I was here, you gotta go to the front desk here. Hey, Sheriff. What can I do for you? Um, I don't know if you, you're aware, but the case got dismissed from my arrest. I, I was not aware. I don't follow up on that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that got dismissed. So what I'm here to do is to follow up on the complaint that I made initially after the arrest and see what happened with that complaint and to file another complaint because since it's, the case has been dismissed, there's some uh, Supreme U.S. Supreme Court rulings with regards to cases being dismissed and there's also some state law. So do I need to make a phone call? or? Oh, I'm, I'm always filming when I'm doing this part. You have, do you see the signs? What about the signs? Can't record in the lobby? Does that, does that violate? Well, let me ask. And read the sign? I'll go read the sign, though. Thank you. But my, my question to you is, does that violate NRS 171-1233? Read the sign. Okay. So should I, who should I give this to, then? I would say the district attorney's office. Well, I've given them one, but I wanted you to have one, and I wanted to follow up, because it looks like... Uh, that uh, looks like Deputy stop, Bueno over there. need to stop recording right now. Okay, so under threat of arrest. I just want to be clear, under threat of arrest. Read the notice. I'll, I'll go read the notice, but if you're telling me to stop filming under threat of arrest, I, I absolutely will. Okay. So can I not use this phone to, to call either and record? What's that? No, but to record to file a complaint to talk to whoever did the internal affairs investigation. The sign. Okay, so how do I get service if I can't record? But how do I get service if I can't record? So there's no. Okay, I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm being told to stop recording. Okay. So this overrides. Let me see this here. There it is. Okay, so what they say here is the use of camera video. Phone's ringing here, buddy. Okay, so what this says right here is the use of camera video and audio recording is prohibited. Article 1, Section 8A of the Nevada Constitution 
assures a victim of crime the right to be treated with fairness and respect for his or her privacy and dignity, and to be free from intimidation, harassment, and abuse throughout the criminal or juvenile justice process. The audio or visual recording of any victim of crime in the Carson City Sheriff's Office without the victim consent is prohibited. Hi there. They made it illegal to record inside for the sheriff. Nice. So we should probably go back to Jason Woodbury's office and file a complaint about this photo. Okay. So. So, so I'm just asking a question. Oh, there, there, there's the, uh, we'll have some paperwork for you soon, Jason. No, I'm just wondering how, how that overcomes NRS 171-1233. That's my question. And how does that overcome Article 1, Section 9 of the Nevada Bill of Rights? And how does that overcome the, or, excuse me, the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. So, anyways, are you aware of Mac versus Williams? Well, yeah, you, you you arrested me, sir. You can't you can't record in the building, though. The sheriff notified you that. Well, I, I, as long as we're under threat of arrest, I'm going to leave. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go go read Mac versus Williams. So how do you do that? Wow. So it's only gotten worse. Hasn't gotten better. So you can't record in there, they say. That's just crazy. So let's go back up to uh, Jason Woodbury's office and, I'm at, and ask him about that. I'm trying not to be an asshole. Gotta go back upstairs. Gotcha. The sheriff's got a sign up over there that says you can't record at the sheriff's office. In the building? In the building, in the public office. Hmm. I'll give him a call. Find out what's I going on. Dr. Kenny. Oh. Um, I didn't buzz last time. No, 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 not, no. You're good. You're good. Okay. Come on through. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. There you go. No, so I was going to go talk to Jason Woodbury again. Oh. Right. Because there's a law. I don't know if you're aware. There's a law. It's a revised statute 171-1233. And it's about recording law enforcement specifically. Because the law enforcement can't interfere. So here law enforcement is putting signs up at their offices that says you can't record. Then they won't accept complaints because you're recording. Because you're recording? Yeah, I can't record and give them a complaint. Well, I'm not, I'm not really sure on all that, what they've got going yeah. on. Yeah, I just find it interesting because there's a law that says you can record specifically. And then there's case law, starting in the Ninth Circuit Court. It's Fordyce versus Seattle. And then there's another one, uh, it's more recent. It's what, I think 2017. But there's another more recent one out of California that takes Fordyce versus Seattle and other cases across the country and combines them in the Ninth Circuit. Uh, one, of the, one is Glick, and they all are about recording law enforcement activities. It's public. Yeah, it's public, so anyways. Let's go back up to upstairs and uh, do another complaint. Let's go see if uh, Woodbury will be willing to talk to us real quick. Hi there. Is the uh, district attorney Woodbury available again? I don't know if he's still here. Okay. Hi again. Sorry to come see you a second time, but I just tried to go to the sheriff's office with my complaint for them too, okay. and to follow up on their internal investigation that I filed. Uh -huh. And uh, Sheriff Furlong was at the front desk there, yeah. and he told me that I couldn't record inside. And they've got signs up there citing, uh, I've got a here. Let me share it with you here. What signs up here showing? Uh, 
I'm gonna have to get my glasses to okay. see this. Okay, well, get my camera thing working okay. But yeah, he's got these signs up right here. And it says the use of camera video and audio recording is prohibited. Article 1, Section 8A, Constitution, Marcy's Law. Mm -hmm. So he's using the right to people's privacy in publicly accessible spaces to stop the First Amendment, what is it, Article 1, Section 9 of the Nevada Constitution, Freedom of Press? I don't know. Don't I, I think that's... I, I've been reading a lot lately. I understand. So, state law in RS-171-1233 specifically says recording of law enforcement is... That's what the legislature said you can do. Mm -hmm. And the sheriff is obstructing that law and, in my opinion, violating the Constitution. Uh, I believe under the Ninth Circuit, there's a a more recent decision in uh, Fordyce. I think it's uh, the city of Seattle or something like that. And I don't know if you're aware of an opinion called Glick and some other numerous opinions from the, the circuits across the country. But essentially what the Ninth Circuit has done is they've taken a bunch of other circuit courts throughout the country and included their right to film law enforcement, right to film government, mm -hmm. and stacked them all on top of Fordyce. So from what I'm seeing of the federal case decisions, state law, that seems to be a problem to me to say that their privacy and their dignity is free from intimidation and harassment. My argument with my camera, how is my camera any different than my shoes, a locking can I might carry, or anything else that you might have that's a inanimate object mm -hmm. just because it happens to record I'm, I'm sure you've got cameras somewhere all around here that you can access we've got one down the hall that's, but that's but it. but the government records you everywhere you go into walmart you're recorded you go wherever you are you're recorded so i i don't understand from my perspective how documenting disseminating keeping evidence i'm sure you've lied in your life i know i've lied in my life human beings we all lie we see things from different perspectives. Um, but what I do know is that will record my words and your words. Why would, be, why would we be afraid of this? The only time I've ever been afraid of recording myself is if I'm doing something wrong. It, 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 and the way I've had to live my life, brief, brief history of my life, is I spent 13 years in family court trying to be a father. Um, and how I survived that? So I documented everything I did. Receipts, timestamp, timestamp in the phone, taking pictures, document. That way when, when the ex comes back at you and said you did something nasty, well, I was here and here in this state, this state, and here's a picture, here's a receipt, here's everything else. You want to talk about it? Mm -hmm. So for me, in, in my life, documenting has become a very important thing. So when our sheriff says you can't document and record, and we're using, what is it, Marcy's Law? restrict the freedom of press that's my complaint to you okay um, and I don't want to make any more motions against than what I'm already going to do right so, so I what my goal in doing these is how do we get government to be respectful of the citizens how do we get us all on the same equal level again how do we hold you can hold me accountable right you, you were elected to that position that's your job hold me accountable if I screw up in society but for, forever, like I, I said before, how do the people hold her accountable, your employees accountable? You can be held accountable every four years, but what holds them accountable? What, what holds everything accountable? And I don't see that in our government anymore. Okay. I think that's a problem. Okay. So, out of respect, I, I hope you can talk to Kenny and say, you know, is this right? What's the purpose behind it? Or if you were part of the decision, I'm going to start doing records requests on it too, because obviously we had to pay for signs. So that had to be a process to come up with this language. How did this come? How, how did this come to be? Mm -hmm. Are going to be the public records requests that I'm going to want to find out who was involved in, in, in doing this, 
Um, if they can come down, that would be great. If they won't come down, they'll have to file a motion to see if the courts can make the decision as to whether what he's doing is lawful or what uh, case law and state law says. Okay. So, All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. So you're aware. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, he listens, so that's a plus. Hopefully they'll take the uh, signs down. Hopefully they'll take the signs down. Okay, guys. So I think I'm done here. Appreciate everybody tuning in, watching. Hopefully it was interesting. And uh, y'all have a good day. Appreciate it.